have the five stars here today. Divya, Vishnu, Sarvesh, Sukirti, and Ritish. For each of us, these students are not just a star, but a superstar. We are celebrating not just their graduation or achieving a milestone, but their entire journey of learning. The years they have been with us, we have seen them grow and adapt themselves to the demands of one of the most rigorous high school programs. And we are so proud to see these students who are ready to take on the next set of challenges. We are delighted that we are able to celebrate you in this virtual mode. Life has always given me unique and strange experiences. Last year, when I was helping Ms. Nantini organize the graduation day for the class of 2019, the idea of having graduation day virtually was not even in my dreams. But here we are doing it virtually and I am delivering a farewell speech for my dear class of 2020 virtually. Isn't it a strange and thrilling experience? Years and years from now, moments like these may be spoken of in the pages of history. Uh, it's truly a great gratification for me that we are able to celebrate the learning journey of the graduates of the class of 2020. I take the pleasure of introducing our students. Creativity, activity, and service, which is also called as CAS. CAS is a mandatory co component of the IB Diploma program. It encouraged us to explore interests and take risks in trying new things. There were many moments where we cherished and felt proud of our own activities. To name a few Sangamam, beach cleanups, making eco friendly Ganesha, guitar classes, and many more. We always get a sense of satisfaction when we change the norm and try new ways to solve the global issue. To say about how my school handled cash, our school management and the teachers gave their full support and guidance towards our activities and also a complete freedom to explore new streams. As part of IB, um, I was extremely hyper-focused on my grades and the results. I never spent, I never took a minute to step back and think, okay, why am I going through the process I'm going through? What could I learn from it and how can I grow? But in retrospect, I can say with full confidence that writing the extended essay not only taught me the skill of articulation, um, but also self-discipline as well, um, and as well as how to manage my emotions and use it to my advantage. Now, um, meet up with your supervisors regularly, um, make good use of the time, and just enjoy the process. There's a lot you can learn from this. Don't be afraid to ask questions because your peers will definitely have the same questions. And it's okay to take time to think because after all, thinking is key to doing well in the class. Finally, understand that TOK is not just a two-year course, um, but it is a lifelong aid which you will use knowingly or unknowingly um, in your future endeavors. Thank you. Uh, I'm indeed impressed uh, from whatever the each student spoke and gave a different perspective to what he has learned in school. And this particular school, which has got a wonderful management, a very caring management, a very understanding management, a very munificent management, and also uh, uh, all the time thinking about additional inputs which can be given to make the children, uh, make the students uh, really benefit from the uh, time they spend in the school. Uh, it's a very unique journey. The basic values which the school teaches you, that can never change. Basic values which you have learned in school, those things can never change. Whatever you do, you do your best. So happiness is a very important uh, quality, making other people happy, happy. And the whole world moves towards a happy person. The happy person is the person who draws everybody else uh, around him. So to make people happy, you have to serve. You have to serve people. And if you want to really find yourself, lose yourself in the service of others.
That's what is well said, that you want to find yourself, lose yourself in the service of others. 